Welcome back. Today is a Friday update and we're looking at 0.8.14. Let's get started. All right, so today's update dropped a few new features, four new pipe types, an added sloped railing that doesn't seem to be working right, and uh, some composite on the dock. Let's take a look at the pipes. We have the pipe cross, and it has both the block version and the pipey pipe version, and you can connect all four sides. Very cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you people want pipes so bad, but your pipes are here. And then the second one we have is, as we wait for the lights to turn on, we have the pipe cross corner. So now you can put pipes on four sides plus one that comes in. And of course it has the block version as well. Nice. Let's go to the next one. I believe this is the Omni pipe, the Omni pipe. And it has connections on all sides. And of course it has the block version as well. And that way, I don't know, you could make some cool vehicles, I think. Like if you're doing a doom buggy rail, you could make it out of pipes now, I think. I don't know, maybe I'll try that, I don't know. And the last one we have here is the pipe T-piece corner. And it has a connection on the top and the bottom, and then two connections that are angled. And of course it has the nice lock version. All right, the next final feature they added. Oh, it's getting dark. Snap my fingers. All right, so we're back in the editor and we have two new pieces here. We have this railing start segment, this railing middle segment, which are supposed to be at incline. And then we have, I think this is our old piece that we already had, but they don't work together. So if you want to build something, you can go ahead and prop it up where it goes on the blocks. But as you can see, it's like it wants to be with a wedge, but you can't really get the wedge up in there. At least not like this. You could probably force it if you pushed it up, but there's no way to get the actual incline to sit flush. Also, this old piece here, this old diagonal piece, where is it at? Does not fit. So if we try to... Let's, Let's get this in the middle here. If we try to put this on it, uh, yeah, it, it does not it does not want to connect. And if you spin it around kind of in a weird way, you can get it to fit down there. <laughs> I don't know. And again, on this side, it does not want to connect. So I'm not too sure. Probably just implemented wrong and it will be fixed in a patch either today or tomorrow or later but uh yeah so we have these they're just not quite working uh the other final feature they added which is a very tiny feature is they added the composite to the small dock i guess the big dock already had it don't know have not been using these doors for quite some time but now they have composites all right so i think that's it for features the only other things in this patch are some bug fixes and some tweaks so they updated the frustrum <laughs> calling algorithm to improve rendering performance not sure what that means but rendering performance is what i do understand and that's good they also renamed the racing seat to a driver seat they balanced the small dock door mass and cost rebalanced to 15 and 400 respectively so I guess that's going to help you in the career mode. Um, fixes come with the monitor functionality in photo mode. They fixed vehicle components, ignoring components on other vehicles. Not sure what that means. The hotbar now saves correctly in the editor and the microprocessor editor, which is good because when you would exit the game after you had put things down in the bottom bar, they would be gone or different when you came back. And uh, that is it. So the Friday update is done. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the bell so it goes ding dong when I post a new video. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. And that is it for today. Let's run through the props. Whee! See you next time. Bye. I just came to have a good